Hey guys, Takara here. Welcome back to my channel. We're now in episode 15 of season 4 of Fear the Walking Dead. Let's get straight into it. They're still stuck on this roof. Do you copy? I repeat, do you copy? We are going to find our way down from here. Well, I don't know how. I'm sorry, but I really don't. We've had harder situations than this to deal with, especially Morgan. You don't want to lead the way. That's fine. You built that house with all those traps everywhere. But you can help. You know you can. Yes, this is going to be the reunion of Strand and Alicia. Yes, then. John. And you've got your hat. How the hell did they find us? Perhaps you were right. Yes, he was right. Perhaps we just needed to believe. Yes, and you need to remember that, John. Alicia, is that you? Yeah, I'm with Charlie. And you're not going to believe it. We just found John and Strand. <laughs> John. He can't hear you. We see them, but they're caught up by the flooding. We're going to get them, though. Can I? She's holding back the tears. Alicia? Same. Morgan, where are you? Can't tell you off the walkie. It's not safe. I tried to be there for someone when they needed it. I tried, and that's how I found John and Strand. So I'm going to get them to safety, and then I'm going to come find you. Yes. So just... This is the leader that I was after. Yeah. Come on, Alicia. You got this, girl. Can they not, like, do a distraction with noise or fire or something draw all the walkers one way or the other and then fight all the stragglers maybe i don't know how about that she looks good in that hat there are gators <laughs> little the charlie and we need something that'll float a boat a canoe i read food zone then and got excited she's just left it there open wounds he's just contemplating jumping right off i'd consider that to be fair if I'd already been bit. I'd maybe choose a better spot though. Unless he falls that way. Just coming over to make yourself feel better about what you did to me. How, how is he gonna blame this Ella Morgan? He chose to go with him. He's not coming. It'd be funny if she just went up and just nudged him off. Your beer recipe. Hand it over. Go to hell, Sarah. I don't understand why he wouldn't give her the recipe, because then at least he lives on through that. But your beer, man, it's poetry in a bottle. That's you too. That can live on. Exactly what I said. Hell, it even brought comfort to a dying man. You know, it would bring comfort to this dying man. Make you one less brew. You turning around and leaving me the hell alone. This guy, man, he's so bitter. Whereas if he just learned to look after himself, then he wouldn't be in this situation. Because if you're in the apocalypse, the first thing I'd do is like, right, well, I better get training on how to protect myself because there's danger everywhere I look. And yet he just didn't and somehow managed to survive it this long. Charlie, can you... Jesus. Charlie, go. I heard you. Get down. Get down. You shouldn't be helping them. Bro. You stay clear of her. You're hurt. We can help you. I I am not weak. Don't oh, fuck for that. Get rid of that gun first. Yep. Tire up. I'm confident that I will be okay. I'm not too worried. Al? She left a message. She's gone for a truck, hasn't she? Hope you're alive. Damn walkie died, and I don't know if you did. So I'm gonna go for the freight elevator. If you read this and I'm dead in the hallway, find my goddamn tapes and keep them safe. Make copies. Leave a stash somewhere if you can. If I make it, that's what I'm gonna do. And if you find that C word, settle her shit. Cause she left a message. It's gonna get infected from being in that muck. Oh, God. Ooh. Maybe not. Oh. You hear that? What, that damn grackle? No. I don't hear anything. This is like the still water from last week that Charlie somehow heard. So it wasn't deep then. And then it, the engine floods and they can't make it back and then they're all stranded on the island. 
looking for a boat? We found this instead. <laughs> Here. Thank you. He's not here to talk, has he? Hey, we talking Yeah. Now. You okay? You? Yeah, at least they've tied her up. I just gotta do something to, um, draw them away from the front. That's it. And you're gonna get out? You gotta go. You'll get out. Survives everything. Even though he could be the distraction. Morgan, it's safe to talk now. John, is that you? Gene? John, thank God. Are you okay? Uh, I, I, I opened up my side a little bit, but, uh, well, hearing your voice, yeah, I'm pretty good now. I love Are him. Are you now okay? I am. I think Al is. They're not gonna kill June off, are they? I feel like this is a good buy. This isn't a good buy, right? Where are you? Hospital, St. Luke's in the city. We're headed for you now. And we can't miss each other again. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I love that. What did you do to me? Hey, hey, easy there. I'd she could have easily got that right hand out of there. there then. The amount of space she had. Whoa. That's a death stare and a half, isn't it? You come to give me a hand? Because this may not just take one. I got a pretty good reason not to. Have you, though? Have you? Okay. Okay. Good shot. I feel like that would have took more than one try. <laughs> if it was me, anyway. Be like, damn it! <laughs> Get another. It'd just be like a pile of walkers on, that are just around the vehicle. This is about leading us all to the hospital. Any one of us would have made that call. Things I gotta make up for. And I don't know that I can make up for all of them, but if I know that I got you all out of here, that I, uh, I got you on your way back to John. Strand. Alicia. June. Back to Charlie. That's you? I don't know, maybe that can make up for something. John! I will find my own way out of this place. Not without us, you won't. Yay! God, John. <laughs> yeah. I wasn't gonna leave you high and dry. It's that rope there. There are too many walkers for you to get through in here. Seems like anything's possible. We're in position. Alicia? Yeah, Morgan. You told me to help people. That's what I'm doing. I'm so happy. This is what I wanted. We're all here, Momo. No matter what you think. We need you. This isn't going to end well. You should leave. Now. Please be wrong. This is going to end well, right? <laughs> Please. Is this thing going to make a shit ton of noise, though? And attract, attract a load of walkers? You're shy. Just use that rope that was over there. Using the rope. Oh my god. Help him. Oh my god, please. John and your shot, you legend. He has to jump that far. So now they're just all swarmed at the bottom instead of the top. Shit. Come on, Jimbo, do something good. This is one hell of a predicament. Do one heroic gesture. Wendell, I'm hopping off and drawing them away. They'll carry you to the van. Morgan? No. It's okay, Morgan. I got this. Yes, Jimbo. What? My recipe. This family comes to his senses. Shit on a stick. Shit on a stick indeed.
Gotta pray he doesn't miss now. I mean, it seems pretty easy to distract walkers with a bit of noise, like, sorted. Off they pop. They choose to go to the sound rather than the food that is on top of this truck. Fair play, Jimbo. Fair play. Oh. It's gone. You slipped right out. We need to get out of the city. I told Jim about Virginia first time I met him, just like I told all of you. That that's where I was headed. Well, he's not going to make it, but I think that we can. Oh, she's at it again. Is this going to be Jim? Yeah. This woman. Okay, so I thought that was a really strong episode because we had the action, we had the emotion, we had a bit of drama and we finally had the reunion of our group which is all I wanted really. I didn't want them to split up in the first place so I'm happy that they're together again. Minus Al but they said they're going to look for her now and then head over to Virginia. So I'm wondering if this whole Virginia thing is the end goal for this season. We're on 15 now so... There's not many left to go. Obviously, uh, Martha is still on the loose now, out for blood. She's more of a nuisance than anything, I feel. I mean, she's just the one person. It's not like she has a team of, of people. It's not like a Negan, is it? It's literally just a nutty woman out on a solo mission to teach people to be strong by killing them and turning them into walkers. Doesn't really make any sense to me. I'm happy to see Alicia and Strand back together again. I think that their reunion was really sweet and it was good that Alicia was the one that saved the day. John is reunited with June, which is lovely as well. Yeah, I just feel, I feel good after that episode. Um, obviously Jim dying isn't a great thing, but he went out with Ibang, didn't he? He gave his recipe, his legacy over as well as saving the team, which is the most heroic thing he's probably ever done in his life. So yeah, he, he went out in a good way. And hopefully Morgan now can move forward and move on, not kick himself too much over his decision to take everyone to the hospital. The thing that I found difficult was that Morgan has been through the worst and yet he acted as though this was the, the be all and end all when he's been in far more tricky situations than this one. But I guess everything comes down to mindset and what he's been through. And he felt that all this was on his shoulders and he was majorly guilty. And instead of sort of fueling it to his advantage and being determined to get out, it sort of went in the opposite direction and didn't do too well. Everything worked out in the end, so it's all good, it's all good. Yeah, I'm excited for next week's episode. I feel better after that episode, I'll be honest, because these past few have been, you know, watchable and been all right. It's just that I, I wanted more, and I feel like this episode gave me that little bit more, that taster. So let's hope next episode is just as good and even better. I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. If you did, give it a cheeky thumbs up and subscribe, you know, if you want to, but there's no pressure here and I'll see you all again soon for another video. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.